hello beautiful people welcome to my channel yeah highly welcome happy easter to you all how are you doing i hope you guys are doing great guys in today's video i'll be showing you how i made this colorful and delicious vegetable sauce if you want to know how i made it please watch till the end let's get into the video guys yeah let's go let's go come on praising the lord is what i've come to do here are my ingredients green bell pepper red bell pepper sausages yellow bell pepper green beans then carrots onions i've already washed all my vegetables and chopped them as you can see then the seasonings i'll be using garlic powder thyme my aristo maggi aroma curry powder turmeric ginger powder yeah then my vegetable oil guys i'll be adding mushroom yeah i like using mushroom for my vegetable sauce because it gives it a unique taste yeah and finally my chicken i'll be using chicken wings for this vegetable sauce i'll be using this corn flour to thicken it so no need of adding this sweet canned corn but if you are preparing yours you can as well add it if you want so i placed my wash chopped mushroom into the pot and added salt i'll be cooking it till the water that comes out from it dries up all this water came out from the mushroom so i'll be cooking it till it dries up if you have been following me you'll notice that i usually cook my mushroom this way before using it to cook anything be it soup or sauce so the water has dried up as you can see <laughs> this is what the mushroom looks like <laughs> after cooking it so i will remove the mushroom and then place my chicken inside the same pot put in salt and onion then i went ahead and added my aristo i like using aristo to cook chicken it gives it a unique taste yeah so i added my garlic powder my curry turmeric ginger powder i'll be using almost all the seasonings that i brought out to cook the chicken I stirred everything up. I stirred everything up properly and then went ahead and added my seasoning cubes. I will let it simmer for a few minutes before adding water. As you can see, it has simmered for some minutes. So I went ahead and added my water. Mm -hmm. and added my scotch bonnet pepper i'm using green scotch bonnet pepper then i stirred everything up covered it up to cook properly After cooking for a few minutes, 
I just upped the cooker and set it aside. So placed my frying pan and then poured in my vegetable oil. Over here, I'll be frying all the vegetables. I added salt after heating the oil. I then went ahead and added my chopped onion. Then added curry powder, turmeric. Stirred everything up a little bit. Then went ahead and added my chopped carrots. I'll be stirring it for a few minutes. Just a minute, not even up to a minute. <laughs> After stirring it for just a minute, I went ahead and added my chopped green beans. I stirred it up for about two minutes. And then went ahead and added all my bell peppers, the green, red, and yellow bell peppers. Then added my sausages here. Yeah. And stirred everything up. Now I went ahead and added my mushrooms. And stirred it up properly. So that everything will combine very well. Then added my seasoning cubes. And then added a little salt. everything up my vegetable sauce will not be complete without me adding my maggi aroma yes i like the taste of maggi aroma in my vegetables anytime i'm making or frying these vegetables like this i usually add my maggi aroma because it gives it a unique taste yes so after adding my maggi aroma i went ahead and stirred everything up properly guys when you're making yours you can use any um vegetable of your choice if you have peas, you can also add it. So I tested for salt and everything was okay. So I went ahead and poured in my 
chicken stock as you can see I put it in and then stir it right now I'm just making use of the available vegetable I have so when you're making use if you have peas green peas and any other vegetable you can as well add it so pour in my chicken then pour in my thickener which is the corn flour i showed earlier on yeah i just poured in little quantity stir it up to check the consistency i'll keep adding till i get the perfect consistency i want i don't really like my vegetable sauce watery i don't like it watery and i don't like it too thick i just like it to be moderate you know not too thick and not watery either if you don't have corn flour, you can as well use multi-purpose flour. That's ordinary flour or potato flour to thicken the sauce. I've used the both of them. I think corn flour is the best. It gives it a unique taste. Yeah. So guys, I went ahead and covered it up. Because I've gotten the perfect consistency I want. So I covered it up and cooked it for a minute. After a minute, guys, my vegetable sauce or curry sauce is ready. So I'll be having it with my white rice. You can as well have it with pasta, spaghetti. Trust me, guys, this vegetable sauce is delicious. That is all for this video, guys. Bye, and see you all in my next video.